This was a really, really bad idea by starting with Odell Beckham and all the diva receivers on the New York football giants. It's such a bad idea and a bad look. It now makes me rethink my position and prediction of yesterday that the Giants are going to go up to Lambeau Field and end Aaron Rodgers' historical, as you called it yesterday, run. Yep. I I'm rethinking that position, and I want to back off and wait until Friday no. before I make my pick no, on I'm this No, I'm not going to be able to let you do that. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know this was going to happen. And, look, you can accuse me of being a grumpy old man if you want to, but I'm, I'm sorry. I, I don't want to hear that kids today are different because football is not different today. How you get to and win a Super Bowl is not different today. It was the same in Shannon Sharp's day. It was the same when I started covering the Miami Dolphins of the 70s. It's football, and it, it always will be the ultimate team game, the ultimate unity game, the ultimate laser focus in the locker room game where it's all for one and one for all. Everybody's sacrificing for everybody, especially at this time of year, where for your brothers, you do what needs to get done to get your team ready to go to Lambeau Field to win a really difficult playoff game in intense weather conditions against the hottest quarterback in pro football. And obviously, the Giants' defense has carried the offense all year long, and this did not involve any of the defensive players. But if I were Janoris Jenkins, Landon Collins, or Olivier Vernon, or DRC, I, I would be, I'd be offended right now. I, I would be I'd be stung that my brothers on the offensive side, who, by the way, have not been able to hold up their end of the bargain all year, decided to go without a bye week. This is not their bye week, even though Ben McAdoo switched their days off from Tuesday back to Monday. So they're going to pick up work starting today. I don't care. It's too short of a time frame for the Diva receivers then to say, wait a second, we're going to go straight from our game in Washington, I assume via charter plane, that's the only way they could have gotten Absolutely. there, down to South Beach, to party all night and, and into the daylight on a boat out in the bay. I, I have no idea. I don't know all the details of it. With it's two just, trains. Yeah, it's just a bad, bad look. <laughs> and if, if the brothers on defense, their brothers, yes. are back home trying to get their rest as best they can, trying to keep their bodies conditioned for the cold weather, because it doesn't do your, you, you know this, I, I know this from all the marathons I've run, it doesn't do you any good to go into the warm weather when you're about to have to go into the coldest place in the National <laughs> Football League up in Lambeau Field. It just doesn't do you any good because you get used to, boy, that sun feels so good. I'm, they're all lying out on the boats, <laughs> soaking in the rays. It's not the way you get ready for Lambeau Field, the frozen tundra of Lambeau Field. And if I read this correctly, McAdoo and or the GM Jerry Reese allowed them to skip the charter flight from Washington, short flight back to wherever they land. And I don't know if they go to Teterboro or to Newark or wherever to, to land their charter. Mm -hmm. But all the charters that I've been on and teams I've been around, that, that was a done deal. Everybody had to ride the charter home unless you had a, a personal yes. catastrophe or tragedy Correct. or whatever, right? Is, yes. that, is that the way it always I was? I remember TD, uh, we lost, we were 13-0. and 0. We lost to the Giants. Yep. TD was going to have to shoot a commercial that right. Tuesday in New York for Sesame Street. And he had to fly the charter home, right? Come there on. There you go. Come on. Okay, it's just the way you do business. It's it's unity. It's everybody all for one and one for all. Right. So I'm assuming that Ben McAdoo said, you know what, you guys, just just go on for, straight from the locker room in Washington. They're going to go straight to some private airport, I yes. assume, in the D.C. area Correct. and fly to Miami. Mm -hmm. And it makes it look to me like Ben McAdoo is losing control of the football team. That's how it comes across. Like he's just, he's about as soft as some of those receivers can be soft. And of course, this brings up a painful memory for me because nine years ago, back in early 2008, the what Dallas Cowboys you? had a bye week. And Tony Romo, then dating Jessica Simpson, along with his best buddy, Jason Witten, and his wife, they all what saddled up, and they, they went to, to Cabo San Lucas. Way to go. And yet they had a bye week, so they had a few days off to go to Cabo. And Troy Aikman, I loved it that he stepped forward and said this. He said, look, 
Did that affect Tony Romo's preparation for a game that was virtually two weeks away? No, it probably didn't. But is it a bad look? Is it is perception reality? Did it look like you weren't taking your home playoff game when all you had to do is win two to get to the Super Bowl? Not that seriously. That's how it came across to me. I was obviously at ESPN in those days. Listen, that story was nuclear at ESPN. It just exploded for, for three days. It's all we talked about. It's a bad look. And these kids today well know that if they're going to go clubbing on South Beach all night long until the sun comes up, and they're going to go to multiple clubs, and they're going to be hanging with two chains, Trey Songs, Johnny Manziel, and obviously Justin Bieber, if you're going to be around Biebs, you're going to get on social media. Is, am I right? Is yeah. there any way to avoid that not going public? It's going to explode publicly. They had to know it. They probably wanted it to explode publicly because that they want to see and be seen. It's the wrong place. It's the wrong time. They could have waited one more week because now I think they might just get eliminated by Aaron Rodgers, and they can go to South Beach for the whole offseason if they want to. I don't get it, and... It, th this is such a bad idea and such a bad look. And you know what? The more I talk, I'm, I'm starting to talk myself into Aaron Rodgers.